everyone, welcome back. Um, so we're doing an updated third party one for all of you when your person is with someone else. Um, so this is going to be deck number one and this is going to be deck number two, pick a deck. Uh, well, yeah, we're just going to do an update, find out what's going to happen with you and them and what's going on with them and their person. And So deck number one and deck number two, pick a deck. We're going for strong masculine energy decks today. Um, once again, thank you all for all your support uh, with everything that's happened. I'm getting there now. I'm, I'm doing much better. Um, luckily, I'm a psychic medium, so it makes my job easier. But it's just a, it was a bit of a, just like a shock, a shock to the system. So, right, can you get me into my deck number one's energy, please? Deck number one's energy. Um, think about your person and their person that they are with. Can I get into that collective energy, please? And as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it. Um, and then if you've got individual questions um, or you need a personal reading doing, just email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I'm running out of spaces now between the between now and the Christmas bookings and New Year, there's only limited spaces now. So just drop me a message if you want one doing, um, and then the rest of it, if it goes over, you'll have, well, it will be a New Year booking. So just let me know um, if you want one doing, you need to get in now, because I'm running short. Okay, can you tell me please, the information of this third party, what do we need to know? Let's get number one, the collectors. What's the update to? Three, four, five. And let's get four for the bottom. Woo! One, two, three. Okay, so a lot of what is going on at the moment, obviously it, you're coming into a hard time of year uh, for the majority of you with it being Christmas and things like that. Spirit is saying try not to overly worry about it um, because what's happening is it's all, for those of you that your person has got kids and they're married etc etc, they're trying to keep the family unit together and it isn't going to be about them as a couple. And those of you that aren't in that situation, um, it, they... Yeah, and you are still a third party, but it, it isn't to that extent. What's happening is that they are just trying to mask over what's going on in the actual heart and their head. Now, you are still in their thoughts with the little bird pecking on the woman's head. They are thinking about you a lot. Um, if you're not in contact, be ready, because around the Christmas period, January, a lot of you are going to get messages flying in. And um, if you are in, like involved in this, again, you are going to, you're going to not necessarily have an easy Christmas, but the situation is moving forward. So they are just kind of feeling quite trapped by it at the moment, trying to do the right thing for everyone that is involved, um, focusing on kids if there are kids, focusing on family units if that is what is going on. They know that you are going to be hurting it over the period of um, of Christmas but they are clinging on to you and they have got a lot of hope a lot of them are going to be getting you if you are involved with them you're going to get really extra nice Christmas presents and if you are worried about what they're going to get the person that they are with please do not panic because it's going to be nothing compared to what they are getting you what they're getting you please pay attention again to their actions and not their words because they can tell you um yeah, so sorry, that was coming in as presence, like your presence will be heart-centred presence, but then Spirit said about actions and not words. Their actions are going to tell you how they are um, they are actually feeling about you. Rather than them saying, oh, it's not going to work, or, you know, I'm involved with this person, pay attention to what they are actually doing, if they're texting, if they're calling, and even if they're not. Um, when they do, it will come through and you, you'll you'll see it. You know that they you are still in their hearts, and you know those of you that are still with them, you are in their hearts and you are in their heads but they're just trying to be focusing on something else and that's where this deck is they're feeling heavily burdened by it all but they're wanting to make moves towards you they're just not quite sure how to do it so they're not doing anything at this point in time they're trying to um, balance all their emotions out they want to they want to help they want yeah they want to be with you 
they do want to be with you and obviously you're finding it hard because there's jealousy and you're getting all these thoughts in your head please don't base thoughts on things that you do not know are facts I know it's easier said than done trust me I do know but you are you're doing great um, you're trying to stay on top of your emotions but obviously sometimes these niggling fears come and bite you remember there's only two emotions love and fear so try and try and keep grounded with it all you're not swinging you're not just hanging on by a thread this person is in love with you but they're just trying to do the right thing for everyone that is involved within the situation at the moment and um, on a spiritual level, the dominoes are going. So you can they you are clinging on to the situation. They are still clinging on to the situation. And it's starting to naturally unfill. It's starting to move around. Um, it's had to be this domino type effect where the do top domino has gone. And then all the other dominoes are kind of going around in a circle with it. And you are going through this domino period at the moment. You're getting frustrated because you're like, they've picked someone else or they are with someone else. And I don't really know what I'm doing dominoes are going just because you don't see it doesn't mean that's not happening you do not know what is happening behind closed doors that was really really clear um i just got a song oh god what's that somebody else's guy i can hear it i can hear it um i don't know what song that is but you'll have to uh yeah, you, by the time this is up and you've got it anyway, you'll all be Googling it. So you'll have to let me know or I'll just Google it after I've done this. But you've got victory. OK, so even with the best will in the world and they're trying their absolute hardest to think, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. You're in their thoughts, you're in their energy and they love you. And victory, they want to be with you. There is jealousy involved in their part. They're worrying that if you are not, if they're not doing anything towards you, you're going to be doing off what you want to do. Um, so then that is panicking them and you're mirroring in that sense because you're thinking, I don't know what this person is up to behind closed doors. And they're thinking, I don't know what they're doing because I'm not giving them anything. <laughs> so you've got this mirroring energy going on. Remember, the majority of you it is divine energy. So please try not to feel guilty about it. Um, you have got free will. You can choose what you want to choose. They have got free will. They can choose what they want to choose. Don't get wrapped up in the itty bitty nitty gritty of it all. Just go with it. Roll with it. You, you know, in an ideal world, everyone that was single would fall in love with single people. But that isn't. We don't live in an ideal world. We know that. We know that. Um, but basically they're just saying that the thoughts and feelings are with you and um, they're trying to hold it together with the with the people that they are with at the moment but they are feeling very trapped and very stuck by the situation and there is a lot of commitment or the circumstantial issues why they are not with you if it was heart-centered energy and love and emotions they would be with you right or you know right here right now but because there's kids and there's family or there's other people involved that and circumstances that are dictating otherwise that is why at this point in time you and them are not together give it the right amount of time manifest what you want remember to make the person that they are with uh, irrelevant inequivocal i just said make them inequivocal they're not with you know because if you're focusing on them and their person that they are currently with what you're doing is manifesting that energy and you really need to focus it back onto the essence of you and them and the love that is between the two of you you're in their thoughts they're pe you're pecking at the brain they know that they've got to do something soon um so just roll with it roll with the tide try not to focus too much on expectation because if you do that again you're pressing pause just go with it know that they love you know that there's uh, there's other reasons at play as to why you are stuck in this situation and it isn't about you as a person you know as you as a person they adore you the worship the ground you walk on they love you but there are circumstances as to why you and them cannot be together at this point in time. But that doesn't mean it's never. There is going to be movement towards you. You've got to let the dominoes naturally fall and then you've got your victory. Go with the flow of it. Try not to push it before it's ready. You know, try not to push that energy onto them if you can. I know it's frustrating and I know it's hard. But if you've pushed them into choices and decisions at the moment, um, while they're trying to do the right thing for everyone involved, they will be focusing on the circumstances that they are currently involved in and they're not happy with it. They are heavily burdened. You know, they want to, even if you're not in communication, it still stands. They want to be making these moves towards you. They just do not know how at the moment. And that is trapping them. 
you know, the heart is definitely pulling towards you and the head is freaking, the head is freaking out and then you're freaking out about them. Let it be, let it lie. If you're not in contact, don't worry, it's coming with victory. A lot of you will, and I think I just said that, a lot of you will get messages around Christmas, New Year. Know that they're thinking of you and even if they are, you know, spending Christmas with the family and things like that, remember they can be surrounded by people and still be the loneliest person in the world because they're not with who they want to be with. Keep strong, my little ones. You got this. It'll come round. Unfortunately, we can't we can't push it. We can manifest it, which obviously does work in manifesting contact and things like that. It will shift, but when there is divine timing at play, we all get a little bit ooh, stuck, don't we? So, um, in whatever situation you're in, let divine timing take over. Let let the divine do their job. If it's a divine relationship and you and them are moving it forward. Um, even, uh, sorry, spirit, I'm moving it forward even without you knowing about it. So just try and relax. I know it's hard. I do. But you got this. You got this. Right. Deck number two, 1056. Can you get me into my deck number two? So, as I was just saying, to deck one is going to work on the collective energy between you all. So the strongest mutual energy is going to come out. Any... Uh, thing that doesn't resonate just remember it for a later date we're just going to do an update on the situation where it currently is what's currently happening and then if you want to book a private reading i've got a few limited spaces available now for christmas and new year so just let me know okay can you get me into your collective thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes of deck two and think about your person and unfortunately i need you to think about the person that they are with can you have a think about them please quickly getting that energy okay that's cool and can you pull out the strongest mutual energy please on what is actually going on with this third party situation with the people watching and the people that they are with what's the update what's the third party update one two situation so if you've picked out number two things are going to be happening with the person that your person is with so I always confuse things because I always call the other person that they are with a third party rather than you because that's the way my spiritual brain works but what I'm going to say I'll just call it the person that they are with something is going to be happening again this feels to be centered around the Christmas period um, a lot of breakups do kind of occur I'm spirit just said a lot of breakups do kind of occur around the Christmas period because there was a lot of intensity and suddenly all these problems come up to the surface that they didn't realize that were actually there and what i'm hearing is that things within this deck your person has been bubbling things have been bubbling under the surface and they're getting ready and ready to move getting ready to shift and that is what is going to be happening secrets are going to be coming out and things are going to be moving forward now there is endings within this relationship now um this feels to be endings with the person that they are with the reason why there might be a halt on that, again, is children, circumstances. It isn't to do with your energy. But they're saying that there's going to be quite a few different endings going on over the next, over the period that we're going into. So you've got nine, ten of swords and the eight of cups. Endings, fears, nightmares, things coming to the surface. Situations are going to be hitting the fan, I am hearing. A lot of you, this is coming from manifesting. The magician's just standing in front of me and with deception as well. You either, whatever your individual circumstances are, you've been manifesting the outcome and the universe has been listening. And that doesn't mean that you've manifested the breakup, but divine timing is at play. And with this deck, divine timing is definitely kicking its ass at this point in time. So it looks like there is going to be a lot of endings for the majority of you with them and their person. Um, if your person pushes you away for the time being and this energy 
relates to you, don't panic, they will be making moves back towards you. Um, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, now this is involved with your energy, your person is on slow steady movement towards you. They're trying to be feeling stable within um, themselves, they're trying to be acting mature and they're trying to do, again, I said this on deck one, what is right for everyone involved. However, your person has got strong energy, strong free will towards you and they are going to be moving it up. At the moment they are the page of pentacles, protecting their heart and protecting their emotions and then they are going to be coming towards you and offering you some kind of solution. Um, solution to the problem. Obviously you've got to work it out for yourself, work out what the best decision for you is with regard to this, whether you choose to take it with they are still with the person. But with the endings coming up, it looks like even if you chose to do it, a lot of you it's going to be irrelevant to you and them anyway because this is going to end. Depending on your various timings and depending on your individual circumstances, but that is your strongest mutual energy. Strongest mutual energy is the relationship that they are in is going to be coming to an end and they are going to be making moves towards you. That is the strongest energy of this lot. At the moment, they're just trying to hold it all together. Um, with the Emperor, the Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, they are the Emperor. Person they know with is the Queen of Pentacles. Remember, it's never gender specific or sexually orientated, but the Three of Cups in the middle. It's divine energy is sweeping in. You're standing there in your power with the masculine energies and feminine energies merging in the background and spirit are listening to you and they're coming to support you and they're trying to help you with the situation. I've just seen Cupid's arrow being thrown and spirit are saying that with that, if two people are in this direct energy and there is love, there's nothing that can stop Cupid's arrow from hitting them and moving it. The, the block with this is fear. The block with this is fear, fear of what would happen and things like that, fear of how it would all go down. But the majority of this, this is ending and um, the person that they are with is ending. You've got the moon for things coming to the surface. Please follow your intuition. Again, the dog has got three heads. They are sugarcoating situations at home at the moment. They're trying to pretend that there isn't a problem or the equivalent of home, but you are with the sun over the top of this person's head. You are, uh, sorry, the moon at the top of this person's head. You are in their thoughts and feelings 100% of the time or 80% of the time. They're clinging on to the situation and they're going to be making moves towards you with the four of pentacles and the chariot. So again, this is kind of a let it happen, let it unfold. But the majority of this, the people that are um, involved in the relationships with someone else, that relationship, the majority of you will be coming to an end. Timings are variant. Um, but the movement, once it's, they're already, um, as Spirit just said, even if um, the, their person that they're with is ending, they're still making, um, say that again, sorry. Even if the person that they are with at this point in time is getting dragged out, the, the breakup is getting dragged out, they are still making moves toward you because subconsciously they know that this relationship is ending. So bide your time, hold fire, breathe. <laughs> You know, um, if you're worrying that they're not going to commit to you and things like that, you can keep the power on your side with the situation. Say to them, um, if you're wondering whether to take part in a third party situation or the equivalent, say until you commit to me, I won't commit to you, etc, etc. Keep the power in your control. You've got to stay strong with this one um, and let it, let it unravel as it needs to. But the majority of deck two, that relationship that your person is in is coming to an end. It's a whole fire. Okay, so if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com, depending on when you're watching this, if you're watching it straight away, my bookings before Christmas are limited, so you get in now if you need one doing, and um, failing that it will be the new year, um, and I, yeah, find me on Instagram, mysticlovetarot, and anything else, just drop me an email, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com, uh, email that for bookings as well. Alright guys, lots of love, bye!